Why do we loathe cockroaches with a primal, visceral disgust that other insects just don't inspire? The answer is simple. They have zero respect for boundaries. A moth is an accidental visitor, tragically drawn to your light. A cockroach is a home invader that thinks it owns the place. It's not lost, it's colonizing. It has the audacity to stare you down when you open the cabinet. And when cornered, the southern ones will fly. Not in a straight line, but in a chaotic, physics-defying panic that always, always seems to end on your face. They are masters of psychological warfare, appearing on your toothbrush, in your shoes, or in your bed, creating a constant, low-level terror that you've lost control of your own home. And they are nearly unkillable. They eat everything. Your food, your wallpaper glue, your cardboard, and even each other. They can survive for a week without a head, only to finally die of thirst. They evolve resistance to our poisons faster than we can invent them, stacking both physical and chemical defenses. This is all backed by a reproductive strategy that is the stuff of nightmares. A single female can produce hundreds of offspring, and after mating just once, she can store the sperm to lay eggs for the rest of her life. Some species don't even need a male at all. This is why, alongside the mosquito, the roach is one of the few creatures we'd gleefully drive to extinction. Ecological balance be damned. It's been on this planet for 320 million years. It's a near-perfect survivor. And if you're ever in a Snowpiercer-style apocalypse, it's also a fantastic source of protein.